Hello everyone. Hope you're having a great evening. Finally starting to see periods of drier weather, but Highway 50, 80, 88, 89, Highway 4, 120, it, they have all been a mess for today. Periods of shutdowns there for the Sierra and some tough travel. Uh, I know a lot of people have been trying to time it out. What's the best time to travel? How do I get up into the Sierra without uh, getting stuck in shutdowns or a mess or chain controls? Um, I'm going to say right now, if you're looking at just a big opportunity, it's going to be Saturday morning. That's going to be about it as far as seeing absolutely no snow in the forecast. Other than that, we'll be having hit and miss snow showers up there. So I want to go ahead and turn this around as we're heading into this Wednesday evening. Like I said, we are seeing some drier wet. Wow, that is, let me see, do we have, hold on. We have a, uh, for some reason, the flash is on on this, which is creating quite a glare. There we go. That's better. <laughs> Sorry about that. This is not my phone, so I was trying to figure out uh, what what was going on there. Uh, no sound? Reading lips? Uh-oh. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, hopefully no sound. Some people have sound. Other people have turn volume on, please. I don't know. Chris Baker, can you check on your... On your uh, thing no sound sound is good no sound other people have sound no sound let's see what do we got here I'm gonna check on my computer no we got sound you got to turn on the sound on the little if you go to the bottom right hand of the video uh, just click on your sound button and you should be okay I just checked <laughs> there is sound so sound check yes Chris I just checked uh, many people do have sound, so if you just go in your little video viewer, there will be a little sound button, and you want to make sure that that is on. Uh, okay, might be on the phone. Okay, okay, people are hearing, so we will go ahead and uh, <laughs> we get a lot of comments when there's problems with the sound, right? So uh, this is going to be an update to the historic storm that rolled through Northern California. Um, and the reason why I'm going to go over in just a moment. I'm sharing this to my page right now. Uh, plus, thanks. I'm typing with one hand right now, so just uh, stay with me here. Thanksgiving Day thunderstorms that we're going to be talking about here, heading into a very cold Thanksgiving Day as well. All right, so here we go. This is what we've got right now. I want to zoom in just a little bit closer to where we're seeing some of the snow falling, especially along Highway 50 and I-80. Highway 50 periodically shutting down. Get this, we had a truck carrying cows that unfortunately caused problems uh, on the highway. They were trying to get that off and it shut down the highway. So we had uh, our reporter, Mike uh, Duffy up there. Uh, okay, here we go. We're up on 80 now where we can see also Blue Canyon seeing some spotty snow all the way up along I-80. A little better travel in that area. And I'm hearing from Sonora. Ron saying thanks for the updates on Sonora. So we'll go south. Oh, I just want to hit on Pollock Pines real quickly there. Some spotty snow showers there. Okay, here we go down south of Highway 50. Arnold, Murphy, Sonora all getting snow. I've heard from folks in West Point as well seeing snow. And uh, south of that, looking at Mariposa and I wanted to there we go Groveland I wanted to see Groveland uh, some spotty snow showers as well uh, Yuba City yeah Anna I was looking at Yuba City just a little bit ago while I'm traveling that way let's check Stockton and Modesto looking clear right now but more showers certainly possible for tonight but Yuba City has the chance for some showers you can see it's kind of on and off here Forest Hill with some snow so low snow still falling in and around the uh, Sierra foothills. Expanding this view, heads up, if you are headed into Southern California, look at this. We're still looking at snow on the grapevine on and off here, all the way down towards Los Angeles where some, uh, some of the mountain ranges are getting some snow and some rain coming in through the city. Santa Barbara, of course, we had that fire, the cave fire just north of the city, north of Goleta specifically, and they were seeing some spotty showers there today. Not a whole lot of damage rain, but enough to help firefighters with some cooler weather and uh, some 
uh, rain as well. Uh, Brentwood snow, Brentwood, California, probably not gonna see the snow in Brentwood. <laughs> uh, okay, Virginia just saw them running on road, cow party on the highway. Yeah, uh, so here you can see the snow through the central and southern Sierra and also the Sequoia National Forest. So we're getting a lot of active weather throughout the state. Okay, the reason why we're seeing a little bit of this breaking up is this low is moving off to the east, but heads up, we've got cold, unstable air behind, and that's going to give us a chance of thunderstorms for our Thanksgiving Day forecast. So see that uh, cloud cover right there off it looks very puffy, the puffy clouds. That's indicative of very cold, unstable air that's coming in from the Pacific, and that will feed us with the opportunity to see some uh, pop-up thunderstorms for our Thanksgiving Day. Here's a look at some of the snow totals that we saw. Squaw Valley, over eight, uh, over a foot of snow, coming in at 18 inches, so to spring 17. Pollock Pines, a foot of snow. Grass Valley, six inches, and even Placerville getting in at two inches. By the way, Pl Placerville had a pretty good thunderstorm come in for today. This was accumulating hail sent in by Gary. Active weather there in the foothills. And then this is Sugar Pine snow. Look at those trees just hanging heavy after the snow that we saw, several inches of snow. Truckee trying to clear the patio for today, getting it all cleared out because more is on the way. Hey, if you have those weather photos, by the way, weatherforce at abc10.com, that is the place to send them. Rainfall totals, about three quarters of an inch for Vacaville, about a half an inch for Folsom and Elk Grove. Rockland, we got over three tenths of an inch, and Natomas, over a quarter of an inch of rain. Now, here's the reason it was a record setter. We had record low pressure set for the entire state. No place in the state has ever hit a record low pressure like this Crescent City yesterday 97 point or 90 973.6 millibars that is a record setter for the state because it was a bomb cyclone a rapidly developing and deepening low and it uh, results in big drops in pressure as well as cold air working in so here's what it looks like tomorrow morning folks here's the time frame right here Thursday at 7 a.m. Chance of showers for Sacramento, Roseville, Rockland, Loomis over towards Folsom and El Dorado Hills, Placerville on the cusp of seeing some cold rain right there. And then as you uh, head north, Yuba City and even towards Oroville, some rain, some snow up towards Grass Valley. For Arnold, Sonora, we're dry for tomorrow as well as Stockton and Modesto. I think we got some runs going on here for the uh, for the Thanksgiving day. Diane wondering what's the weather wise for tomorrow map of for Sacramento looks clear. Well, this is what it looks like tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. But I will say right after that, we're gonna start to clear out. So here's our nine, let's go to 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock forecast, a few spotty snow showers on I-80, but Highway 50 clear as well as Stockton, Modesto, Yuba City still with just that little batch of rain right now, or uh, right there. But then by noon, might actually be able to enjoy some of our Thanksgiving midday hours with just a few clouds. The caveat is you got thunderstorms in the forecast. <laughs> so that's the only thing we'll be keeping our eye to the sky and looking out for any uh, rapidly developing snow uh, uh, thunderstorms. At about 2 o'clock, this is when we start to see some of that snow redeveloping for the Sierra. So, unfortunately, we are going to be back at it. Justin wondering about Arnold. There's Arnold right there. Should be okay at about 2 o'clock, but then this all starts to expand throughout the upper foothills and the lower Sierra for tomorrow. So, Highway 4, spotty snow showers there all throughout the evening for Thanksgiving night. Uh, yeah, good news for Sacramento. You're right, Diane. We'll get some morning showers, but then start to clear out. But Highway 50, 80, 88, Highway 4, 120, just be prepared for lots of changing conditions for our Thanksgiving day. Now, I do want to let you know about this. If you are traveling over the holiday and you need to head back home or perhaps you're starting your vacation check this out saturday and sunday another storm arrives that brings more travel impacts and the possibility for more snow for the sierra here it is right here another storm on the way it's way out here in the pacific uh, quite a distance away we're going to have to clear out of this storm this is the current storm we're looking at but this is the one that's on the way and it will arrive it looks like right now late on saturday 
Uh, winter storm watch goes into effect late on Friday. That'll be above 2,500 feet with 5 to 15 inches of more snow possible. Travel delays will return. As far as the timeline on this, this is what it looks like statewide for our Thanksgiving Day. Again, here's your timeline right here. Here's what the state looks like. Los Angeles, the Grapevine, San Diego, Santa Barbara, all starting off with rain for Thanksgiving Day with snow for some of the passes there along 395 and I-5. And for 8050, still looking at areas of snow as well. North of uh, I-80, some snow. Uh, I-5's been a mess, but it should be clearing out there for tomorrow. Taking it through the rest of the day, I'm going to back this up just a moment here. Uh, because I want to just check on, there we go, for 5 o'clock on Thanksgiving Day. This is still real messy down here in Southern California. Um, and that will be true as well all throughout the Central Sierra. So, Patricia, hopefully that answers your question there uh, for Southern California. San Diego also getting the rain. Uh, Los Angeles, right along the coast, it's all going to be rain, but some of those higher points are going to be seeing the snow. Same storm system, cold and unsettled weather. Now, as we head into our Friday forecast, perhaps you're headed out to do some uh, Black Friday shopping. Ho, ho, ho. Brave people you are. Uh, starting off dry for much of the valley, a few spotty showers in Southern California and some snow showers continue for the Southern Sierra. But by roughly about noontime, we have a slight chance of seeing some very light showers for the valley and towards the coast. So maybe you're going to San Francisco for Friday. Uh, I'd bring the umbrella just in case. And of course, for Southern California, Los Angeles, San Diego, still looking at showers there for our Friday forecast. And look at this for the Sierra. <laughs> we are right back at it for Friday. Tough travel again on Friday. Uh, that may be the day that you want to head up and do some sledding with the kids. If they're off of school, you happen to be off of work. Um, that would be a great day to head up there. I-5 impacted again right near Shasta. May have chain controls along I-5 northbound headed towards Oregon. And then 8050 again. It's going to be slow going, but with all the low snow that we've been seeing, you probably won't have to go up too high if you want to hit some of the recreation up there. Uh, some of the ski resorts are opening, so I would call ahead. Also, you want to check any app, uh, we have, of course, our ABC 10 app that you can download and get some traffic information as you head up the hill. And then this is our window of opportunity. Friday night through early Saturday, this is going to be when we have our best opportunity for dry weather. Now, we're still going to see a few scattered snow showers, but you can see throughout almost the entire state, this is a great day to travel, except if you're headed northbound or perhaps you're coming out of Oregon back to Sacramento. Saturday morning, you're going to run into some snow showers. But here's what I'm looking at in the forecast to come in for Saturday afternoon. So, David, the good window for I-80 Pass is really going to be, let's take it back here, how early could you get up the hill? Oh, roughly about, roughly about 8 o'clock on Friday through Saturday at, um, Saturday until about 4 o'clock, because by 5 o'clock, we're, we're right back at it. So these, this is the entire oh, central and northern part of the state by Saturday at 5, affected by heavy rain coming in and snow returning in the Sierra. Uh, will it be snow in Redding and or Red Bluff, California tomorrow? Uh, for tomorrow, uh, no, I'm, Redding and Red Bluff shouldn't have too much in the way of snow, obviously. Um, yeah, not much. Uh, it's pretty dry, actually, for Redding and Red Bluff for tomorrow, um, even in the morning as well. So there we go. Okay, so lots to update you on. Uh, real quick peek at this 10-day forecast. It is just loaded up with all sorts of rain and snow coming our way. Thanksgiving, a chance of thunderstorms Friday, mostly a dry day except for the Sierra. Saturday, another storm rolls in. That takes us through Sunday and Monday. And then all next week, we pretty much have an on and off chance of rain in the forecast. And it will stay cool. Highs only in the 50s. Uh, Dahlia wanting to know about Manteca wet. Uh, just a slight chance of showers for tomorrow or thunderstorm. And then uh, we should have some dry weather for our Friday. But then we're wet again for our Saturday afternoon, evening through Sunday.
All right, that is a look at our updated forecast. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. You can always join us tonight at 11 on the LNT. I'll continue to update the forecast. New weather models come in. We can fine tune, get a little bit better idea of where we're actually going to be seeing some of those showers for our Thanksgiving day and what the chance of thunderstorms looks like as well. All right, in the meantime, have yourself a great evening.